it's Xena or Hog Princess. Welcome, welcome back. This is a Vera Bradley haul from the retail side and it includes uh, several new styles and patterns. So let's dive right in. First of all, this was a phone order from my store, my store, <laughs> which is in uh, Wauwatosa, Wisconsin at the Mayfair Mall. Special thanks to Anna and the lovely ladies out there who always take such great care of me. Um, they always send a little card with the order and um, this says PS I wrapped in plastic just in case the box gets wet That's very thoughtful very second level thinking for customer service And it, it was all encompassed inside a plastic bag inside the box, which was nice um, Here's your pretty new items. I hope you love them all Enjoy. I hope you have a beautiful day Anna. Yeah, so thank you again, and then they send the receipt of course the hard copy All right First item is a zip ID in Turtle Dream. Now the advantage of me calling my store, if you will, or having a store, um, whether it's one you know or one you don't, they can and often do help with pattern placement decisions. So if you're picky about stuff, or if there's a pattern like this one, where you really want to get um, something centered up on a piece, whether it's a zip ID or something else, you can always ask. And um, some places, and Vera advertises this as a service actually, they will actually video shop with you and let you see for yourself and pick for yourself. So anyways, I don't have to do with that with these ladies. They just always pick the best or if there's a question, we talk about it. But this is Turtle Dream. It has obviously a beautiful turtle right on it. But in the pattern, you can also see there's like um, outlines of sea things like a shell and some coral but then there's also full color pieces like the sand dollar the star more corals and things and then there's beautiful mosaic turtles um, on there yeah it's cut off but at least he's not headless <laughs> and then on the interior pattern which you can see here you have the teal silhouetted turtles and then everything else is some outlines and there's some little fishies in color as well in the pattern so Super fun, um, just another zip ID for the collection. I didn't get the lanyard because I have enough lanyards that would match that or coordinate just fine with it. The other thing I got in this pattern is the mini notebook with pocket. In this pattern, they offered both the mini and the regular size, which is great. The other one's on my wish list. Um, but here again, you can see the tidbits of the pattern. These have 160 college rule pages and there is a pocket inside as well. The outer edges of the pages have a little color to them, um, but they're a great size notebook for like a tote or a backpack. You can journal in them, you can do whatever you want with them. Um, I use them for miscellaneous things all the time. Um, okay, next items are, I got several items in the new Cloudvine Multi. This is the AirPods bag charm. And so it has the little carabiner clip and whatnot. It's perfect size for my AirPods. In fact, looking at this, I might even bring this today on my lanyard because I'm going to the Arizona women's basketball game in as soon as I finish this video, actually. And I always just take my lanyard. It says zip ID and lanyard in Arizona, but I take my key, my chat stick, and a little bit of money and cards in there. But maybe I'll add this to that little thing and take my AirPods because I walk um, from where I park over. And I might want to listen to some music or I don't know. But anyways... Um, so this pattern is a floral pattern. This originally came out in cloud vine, which was um, like blues and greens and teals. So um, a, a, Kelly, a lovely pattern, um, but it looks totally different in the multicolored bits. Um, this little piece is tiny, but they picked me a piece that had perfect flowers on both sides. So that's really cool. Um, and this flower actually looks like it's that same flower. Let me turn it in the same direction, hang on. So that flower right here is this flower right here in the multicolor. So definitely the same pattern, pretty cool. All right, um, other pieces I got in that pattern. I got the Mini Treppies Cosmetic. I definitely prefer the other cosmetic form better. These are fine, they're great. I, I like them for certain situations quite a lot. I like that they have the loop that I can stack them vertically in a bag and then just grab the loop and pull it out. Okay, but I, I just, I like the other one better. I think they hold more, I think, well, anyway. It's a nice addition to the collection. I won't be stocking up deep in them. 
but there you can see some more of the pattern than you could on that original tiny piece. These do have a zipper that extends beyond the opening and that allows you really to get in there. So it does open up very accessibly. There's a um, plastic divider, which has a tissue over it, but it's just a plastic divider. And the inside is plastic lined on one side, not on the other. I'm not sure, honestly, why they didn't just plastic line everything. Um, but that divider is basically just a back wall slip pocket there, um, but it has a little space to it, obviously. The bag itself does have some capacity, but then it does have to come to a zipper in the top, so it's a triangular shaped bag. Again, that's not a major fault, it's just, it is what it is. Great size for a little mini um, thing inside your purses though, still. And then I also got the mini tech case. Uh, does it say with clip? Because it does have a clip. Yes, it does. Mini travel case with clip. I said tech case because that's what I usually use it for. But it does have a leash here. It's a woven leash, not a material leash. Um, but inside you have a zipper mesh pocket. That's this whole thing. You have a elastic band. You have a slip pocket that has elastic on it. And inside, oh, this one isn't. It has different fabric there, but it's not soft or anything. It's just there. And then you have a clip loop, a snap loop. So you can put your cords in that and snap it up or whatever. So you can use it for different things. You could use it for jewelry. You could use it for a lot of different things. Cute inside pattern. Um, it's got these multicolored flowers that just match the colors in the exterior of the pattern. So here you can kind of see it. Let me do it this way because you see more of it. You can see them side by side, so there you go. And it's a faint pink background, it's cute. And the last thing I got in the Cloudvine Multi is the new style, which is the Franny. Let's, oh, well, I don't need that in there. It does come with a long strap and the short strap. Freddy, or sorry, Freddy. <laughs> Franny Crescent Crossbody, that's the name of it. Um, it is a little bit smaller than I expected. Um, yeah, but it's a nice size anyways. I would say small to medium sized bag, probably more medium. It does have a good amount of space to it in total. It has the little bit of a crescent top and you've got that handle. This strap is not removable but you can remove and use the shoulder crossbody strap um, that is adjustable there. So you have some options. There are no pockets on the outside. The only thing is you have your tag that's you know consciously crafted on one side, Vera Bradley on the other. But it's a nice little bag and when you have stuff in it and whatever, it will stand up. It doesn't have feet on it or anything. Inside, again, very simple construction. You have a zipper pocket on the back and a slip, single big slip on the front. Um, and that's it. So that's the bag. Um, it's a nice size, like I said, probably not an everyday all the time for me because I tend to want to carry around extra stuff. Um, but when you want to store it, you can just tuck all the straps inside. The base is um, not structured, so it can just fold on the seam there and store flat. Or in my case, I store a bunch of them lined up like that. Um, okay, I also think, um, well, hold that thought. All right, so the next bag I've got is this beauty, this black and white, to add to the collection of black and whites. And this is the pleated multi-strap satchel in bandana medallion. So this black bandana medallion, it's, it's definitely a geometric pattern. It is a good size bag. This is a solid medium to large handbag. There's the base of it. It does have the tag on the front as well, just like the other bag. You have your regular handles like this, and you have a removable adjustable crossbody shoulder strap if you so desire. Now, the thing about this bag, it reminds me a lot of a cross between a Glenna and a Mandy. And here's why I say that. Um, so it's about the size of an on the go. So let's compare this real quick before we go further. So rough dimensions, height and width, um, obviously they're shaped a little differently. Um, and the bases, they're fairly compatible, comparable. So that's the on the go. 
The on-the-go relative, this is Eat Cat Island, by the way, relative to the Franny, again, similarly sized. The Franny is slightly smaller capacity for sure. Um, and base-wise, yeah, it's about a little more than half, maybe a third of the width. So that's the comparisons in big picture sizing. Um, so on the go, and then I think this bag is the Mandy, which is a tote style purse. This is a Mandy in Sun Valley. This is long retired style and pattern. Um, I, I miss the extra details that we used to have on the bags. But size wise, this reminds me a lot of the Mandy because it's that east west shape to it. And there you go. So definitely Mandy sized. And Glenna style, the Glenna. Okay, I just have to caveat this. The original Glenna's, not the current Glenna's, because the current Glenna's are a little smaller, but the original Glenna is a bigger bag. Still comparable. I would put them in the same family for sure, but you can see it's taller, and um, actually it's just a little bit wider, so about two fingers wider. Um, the base is a little bit more rounded on the Glenna, but that's not my point. My point about this comparison or cross is both bags have this pocket right here between the strap. They both have the short handles and the, the crossbar. So you can't see it here, but there's the shorter, not as short. All right, and then on the back, they both have that same pocket. So yeah, they're different, but I feel like as soon as I saw this in person and got the sizing and proportions and layout, I'm like, yeah, that's a Mandy Glenna combo. Doesn't matter whether it is, isn't, or call it what you want. I like the bag. I like how it's structured. I do prefer the older regular cotton. This just has a sort of a rougher feel to it and much more flimsy. So this is a far less structured bag than the Glenna. I mean, that, that could be good. Sometimes I like a slouchy bag, but whatever. Um, but there you have it. So there's pocket on the front, pocket on the back. In this case, they don't have the crescent shape, that's fine. And they do have a magnet on both sides, which is nice. So will your phone fit in there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Here's my uh, Pro 13 Pro Max. Fits in there and is down far enough that that magnet easily closes on top of it. So that's good. All right, so these straps, as compared to the Glenna, the Glenna had metallic rings, so they would lay flat. This one's just been trained to lay flat. It's fabric only, so there's no hardware there at all. The strap goes down to about right here. So there's this much tethered and on the bag. So it has a little bit of extra give, but they don't go all the way down the bag or anything. Um, and no rivets or any additional support. Inside the bag, you have on the front, you have two slips. And on the back, you have a zipper pocket. And this looks like a lot like a black, white, and gray version of the interior of, what is it? It's one of the Midtown fabrications. I want to say Garden Dream or something, but similarly looking. I'll have to compare that later, but um, it does have a zipper closure on the top and it is an arc zipper, so it arcs up. There you go, nice, nice nylon zipper. So that is the multi-strap pleated satchel. Hey Kelly, what are you doing? Hmm? You want up? You do? Okay, fine. Yeah, um, I'm dressed in pink because the basketball game today is breast cancer awareness. Here's another new item. This is just classic black, so boring, but it will go with just about everything, including the next pattern that I will pull up. But this is the brand new double zip ID. So in the past, Vera did have a gen zip ID, which is similar. Oh, I should have grabbed it, sorry for that. I've grabbed all the other comparisons and forgot that. It was slightly smaller. This is almost more like a coin purse size rather than a zip ID size. It's a little larger. So we do have a zip ID right here. We can compare size for reference, but you can see what I mean. It's like quite a little bit larger. I think that's a good thing. Um, and it is still a zip ID, so it does still have a clear window on it, but you have two pockets and both of them zip around and down. That makes it very accessible to get inside. The one side that has no um, window is two-sided, so just like a regular zip ID, it has two sections. And the side with the window still has two sections. So you have your window section here, 
and then your divider, and you have the main section there. So that is the double zip ID. Once again, the Gen Zip was more this size and then had a snap, um, flap snap pocket on it as its second one. This one is just zipper, zipper. Um, okay. The next item I got, this is just a um, clip and zip coin purse type thing in the new pattern. I'm sorry, clip and zip mini pouch, but it's like the coin purse size. But this is the new pattern Island Garden. It's black and it has these beautiful brights with teals and pinks and some mint and some green um, with some white highlighting as well. I just think it's really pretty. Um, I, it grabs my attention. It's like I like it, I want to love it, but it's also not truly my color schemes and typical things. But that's the beauty of continuing to come out with new patterns. Sometimes you expand your palette, you know? So anyway, inside this, it does zip just slightly around, and inside you have two slip pockets right here, two card slots, and then just the bay interior. And it is a cute, we got dragonflies and flowers on a white background. It's pretty. Um, okay, so the clip and zip mini pouch. And then I got another new style, so new pattern, new style. And this one is really interesting. Let me get the tag. This is the Roll Up Tech Organizer. Again, you could use this for many things, not just for tech, but it has a clip on it and it has one, two, three, four different fabric loops that you could clip to based on how thick your roll is filled. Um, but it opens up, you have right on the top a zipper mesh segment. And then below that you have um, elastic and then double elastic. And behind that you have two pockets, one here and one here, and those are elastic as well. So a lot of tech storage or jewelry, whatever. And then this bottom section is kind of structured like a tissue case. You know, it's it's got a zipper down the middle, but then both sides you can get into like that. So whatever you want to put in there, you could. A lot of little things. And then close it up. So there you can see the interior and the exterior pattern side by side. And here you get a little bit bigger chunk of the exterior pattern in one piece there. So that's pretty pretty nifty new. Oh, it has a piece of saran wrap on there. But yeah, so those colors, I don't know, it's just bright and happy to me. Um, and then it can clip, once again, you can clip it on whichever loop you so desire here. So that is that. All right, um, next item. And this is the last item for the haul, actually. But this is a new style. It is big. It's like that convertible shoulder bag that turns into a backpack. There's the base of it, so a pretty big bag. But here, obviously, again, you get a really good look at the colors in the pattern. But they just pop on that black. Okay, um, and this is actually called... Oversized hobo shoulder bag. Once again, it's Island Garden. It comes with this strap built in, which you, again, cannot remove, but it does also come with a removable crossbody shoulder strap that is adjustable, so you can do that. Um, but so this bag, it's, it's very, very slouchy. Again, it's not only is it recycled cotton, but there's no structure to it, so, um, that could be good or bad depending on your preferences. In this case, a hobo style bag, I think slouchy works, especially because you're gonna need it to slouch a little. It doesn't have a curved thing, so this space, legit, just like that, is that much space. So when you arch it up to put it over your shoulder, that's going to change the shape down here. Now, whether it curves out to go around your body or whether it slouches down, a lot of that's gonna depend on what's in it and how you wear it, but. It's not my preferred style um, overall. Um, inside, it's a very, very simple bag. You have on the same side of the bag, a zipper privacy pouch and two slips on the front of that. So everything's on the same side of the bag, nothing at all on the front of the bag. And that's it for the inside. So very, very simple slouchy bag. Now, when I saw this, I first thought that is a, a retread of a previous bag which I got at the online out or not the online outlets at the annual outlet sale 
in 2018. And this one is leather. It is a patent leather. It is basically the same style Fobo bag. So you see that? And the same size too. Look at this. So it is totally the same bag. Obvious differences. The cloth one, the fabric one, comes with that added strap. The leather one did not. The leather one, though, has the two slips on one side, the zipper on the other, and it had leather tie closures for the bag rather than a zipper on the top. I do prefer that because this is, you know, basically just useless straps to me, <laughs> but whatever. Um, so this was the Fenwick Kobo. This was like the, the super fancy style. This one does also have one additional pocket on the outside bottom. It's a zipper pocket there. Um, but it is a cool patent leather bag. I bought it because it was an extremely good deal. I don't remember what I paid for it. It's years ago now. But um, but I thought, yeah, that would be great because who doesn't want a nice leather bag? It, if it's not your preference, maybe you'll just broaden your style. It could be dressy and classy. Uh, but honestly, I've never taken it out to use it yet, which doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. It just means that I have too many bags and I haven't gotten to it. Or haven't had an occasion to wear it. But anyway, so hobo hobo. They're both oversized. Now the other thing about this one that I will note, it's not a big deal, but like the the shape of the bag kind of tapers to the bottom, which is still rectangular. But the tag, why did they put the tag on that curve where the tag's basically just at the bottom of the bag? You don't see it. Like it could have been up here on the side. Why'd they put it so low? I don't know. But there you go. Um, as I'm looking at this now, two other things I will note is down the side of this bag, there is a trim line between the, the sewing and it is on both sides. So it's of the fabric. So it's, it's very subtle. You do have a bit of that trim and look at right here. I just found this hidden pocket. There's a small tiny zipper right there and let's see where this pocket goes. It is a pocket about the size of my hand, so it is right there in that middle third and that one half of the bag, so it's right about there. So cool, good thing I talked longer and was looking at the bag because I found a pocket, yay! I really will probably forget that again before this gets used, but anyway, there you go. So that is the Island Garden pattern and the new oversized hobo bag. Um, hope you're having a great weekend. And hope your week coming up is even better. Bye for now.